Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while since I've been getting my YouTube stuff done, but lots to talk about. I'm sitting on uh, one, two scooters I have to review, another e-bike in the in the mail, so uh, bear with me. I'm powering through these guys. Um, today, though, we are actually talking about, this is the Yada Pro K56. You can check it out right here. Um, it's another interesting scooter because this also has suspension on it. The last scooter, revi scooter review video, that's hard to say, uh, that I made had uh, front and rear suspension. This one also has front suspension on it, which I like a lot because I think that's been, you know, complaints on scooters like this guy here. While this is another, you know, tremendous scooter, like I really like this guy, it's a little bit, um, vibration-y is that the right word <laughs> it's a little bit much when you go over some serious terrain where i mean you got not only some suspension here but you've got some pretty thick looking tires i mean it's so i'd say this is pretty standard on scooters some of the big dogs have these bigger tires that combined with this suspension is really going to be nice so excited about that we'll go over how everything works here in a second but yeah stay tuned and we'll get into the review get into this uh, K56 Pro review here from Yada. Yadia. I'm always the worst at these names and I always get in trouble. They, they yell at me, but <laughs> uh, thank you for to Yadia for sending this uh, to review. And I also apologize because they sent me this a while ago and I lost the footage of my original review, hence why there's no unboxing for this. And like I just totally lost the SD card I filmed it on. So we are starting over. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah. anyways, you guys don't care about that. You want to learn about this scooter here. And it's pretty appealing, right? Because it has the front suspension. The display on it, I'd say, is really nice looking. Uh, Multicolored display. You got your bell. You've got what's also super interesting is two brakes, front and rear. I would say... Most scooters I review, if they have two brakes, it's something like a step brake in the back or, or just like two ways to operate the same brake. Um, something like this one is also pretty unique here where it's like actually a, uh, a e-brake of sorts, which I'm not talking about that. So we'll get back to here. And I noticed while riding this, if you hit this front brake uh, while going pretty quick, you got to make sure you ease into that because it, it can be a little jarring. It almost feels like you're gonna fly over the front. So I definitely recommend the rear brake over the front brake. Um, while we have this screen up here, it's also pretty easy to operate. There's one button. So uh, I will mention there is the app up here where you can get everything all set up. You can dial in your modes and all of that. Uh, but as far as like the main operation up here, all you need to do is it's a long press to turn off, I believe, yep and that turns it on. And then you have a couple modes, a walking mode, uh, D is like for the standard middle mode, and then S I think is supposed to be for speed. Uh, so that's a little bit of a faster mode. Still have like half a battery remaining, but we'll still go on a cruise here in a second. Um, and that's about it. And then I think you could double tap for headlight. And that's really all you need. And I, I kind of like the minimalist sort of vibe here. And of course you have your throttle over here and then like i mentioned earlier the double brakes this clip is to attach on the back so i'll show you how that works real quick very very easy there's a little safety button right here so you push that down and pull and then this almost came falling down there uh snaps in right there which actually will allow you to carry it but this thing is heavy my friends I'm probably holding 50 pounds or so. Um, it's it's definitely a big beefcake. Probably probably 40 or 50 pounds. Uh, and then to undo it, we'll just move this safety up. I guess while lifting. There you go. Pop this back in. And then there's no real button you have to do. You just gotta pull it up and it latches. And it's a good build quality. 
it definitely is nice and thick. Assembly was a breeze. All you had to do is there's, I think, a total of five, five of these things that you screw in. Six, actually. Uh, so two, two, and two. Really easy, it takes like two seconds. So you, you literally just unfold it and then bolt these guys in. Not bad at all. And then that's basically it. I mean, we'll take a quick look up here. Something that's also worth noting again is the fact that we have this suspension. Not a lot of travel on there, but as far as other, uh, you know, scooters go, that's, that's, that's a plus. I, I got to say, uh, a cushiony ride on a scooter is really valuable. That said, there's no, like, adjustments. These are dummy caps. Like, you can't actually, like, change what it does. It's just springs in there. So if you are a heavy rider like me, you get what you get. But if you're a little bit skinnier, you don't got to worry about that. Um, the braking system in the front is like a drum brake. You kind of see that it's not a disc brake, which I think is for a reason so that it doesn't bite as hard as I mentioned, uh, because if it bites too hard, you'd fly off the front. So I guess they were thinking pretty smart up there, even though it is still a pretty good brake in the front, maybe too good. <laughs> and then you've got a pretty powerful mechanical disc brake in the back. And as for that, you have some good, uh, it starts blinking when you have the brakes on. And then, again, we talked about the headlight up here. Uh, let's see if it brakes for both. Yep, so either the front or rear brake, you're gonna get that rear tail light action for safety. And I think that about does it. It's worth mentioning too, a decently wide platform for your feet. Uh, that's always a plus. You can fit uh, comfortably. For scale, I'll show you this. Yungui. Not so much. That said, I do like this one a lot still because it's powerful and it fits in the front of my, uh, my Tesla here. So, All right, I think you guys seen enough. Let's actually take this for a ride and we'll give it a little bit of a, a, a test. We'll go up some hills and see how it performs. Man, so the first thing you'll notice is how quiet this thing is. The motor is almost silent. kilometers right now that's just because I didn't go on the app to change it quite yet something that's kind of interesting you can watch the green light appear and that is in relation as it like goes around that's in relation to how powerful you are pressing the brake and then that blue light at the top is actually coming from me uh, holding down the throttle so it tells you how much of the battery you're using all right so a couple of thoughts around this scooter um, the first thing to note is it does come in around nine hundred dollars i think on various sites you can maybe find it for a hundred two hundred dollars cheaper uh, given the season maybe it's on sale um, so that is a little pricey you do get a lot. It's got everything you'd hope for at that price point. It's got a bigger deck, a bigger battery. Um, it's got that 800 watt motor, which is a beefcake amongst other scooters, that's for sure. Uh, I'd say uh, 500 and up is more than enough on a scooter for an average person. So you got a lot of power to make it up the hills. I will say, that said, I think that 800 number might be like a peak motor because uh, sometimes they'll give you like the peak power rather than like the average or consistent. And uh, my guess is it is probably like a 500 watt that peaks at 800 or maybe even uh, a little less than that. You'll see that in e-bikes where they'll have like a 500 that peaks at a thousand or something similar to that. So uh, take the 800 with a grain of salt because as far as, um, you know, actual like torque and like uh, power going up hills and everything, um, it, it almost seemed a little bit lacking compared to some other scooters. 
Um, it just wasn't super torquey, but I mean, you got to keep in mind, I am like a big guy. Like it's got 250 pounds to get up a hill. So yeah, your average person's not having that same issue. Uh, I think I mentioned that in most videos too, just as like a warning, like, Hey, uh, you are probably going to be fine. And, and even that said, like you feel the power on like some flat or semi inclined straightaways because it picks up and it really does have some speed. Uh, I'd have to do the conversion, but 30 kilometers per hour is where it peaks. And that seems plenty fast. <laughs> I really had a lot of fun on it and it feels sturdy. And I think that lack of torque I was mentioning uh, is gonna be a good thing for a lot of people because their scooters that are way too torquey almost feels dangerous. This one, not at all. And I think you don't actually tap into the power of the rear, uh, oh, just turned off. <laughs> you don't tap into the power of that, that uh, motor uh, until you're at a comfortable speed, basically. Hopefully that makes sense. So those low uh, anti torquey kind of medium speeds, it's gonna be nice and smooth. And that's, I think my thesis for this whole video is this is a smooth, comfortable scooter with that suspension, with that like easy going motor, I'd call it. You're gonna have a very controlled, um, uh, it's not that speed demon scooter. This is not for the guy who wants fast, quick, fun. This is great for like an everyday transport. Maybe like um, it's your actual way of getting around. Like you're looking for a really reliable scooter to get from places to place. This is that. And with that, I'll wrap up the video here. As always, I'm happy to answer some questions if you have them in the comments. And I do appreciate you guys watching this. And stay tuned. We've got a lot more e-bikes and scooters to review. And uh, I could show you this. <laughs> I've been spending way too much time um, uh, with pickleball than the EV channel. So I'm going to try to make more videos here, I promise. Uh, but in the meantime, if you're a fan of pickleball, uh, go check out my other channel called Kiwi Labs Pickleball uh, and we can talk there. Okay, I'm out. Thank you guys. Bye.